On this Veterans Day, one local man remembers serving in World War II like it was yesterday. Ashley Sharp brings us his story of service and sacrifice as uh, she recounts the World War II stories 70 years later. Amazing story. Good morning, Ashley. Well, Casey, good morning. The Torbett family pioneered a successful greenhouse business here in the Tri Cities. But before Tab Torbett would follow his family's footsteps and open his own, the Johnson City plant farm, he put his own life on the line in history's deadliest war. At 98 years old, for Tab Torbett comes a lifetime of memories. This is me right here. And with service to our country in World War II comes a sense of pride. I was working in Baltimore, and when I went to the box to get my mail, there it was, to my draft. At only 22, the time came for Tab to leave all he knew behind, including his family here in Piney Flats. Well, they fixed me a good lunch, and they wished me well. I thought it was the best thing for me to do. I really did, from my heart. Life stationed in Passau, Germany, looked like this. This is the man sitting there. The coordinations of the gun to where they're going to fire. Tab and fellow soldiers in charge of firing a 155 millimeter howitzer at German forces. Hold your ears like that to pull a lanyard and it fires. He remembers, as many veterans do, so clearly the atrocities he witnessed, including the brutal killing of a group of Polish prisoners trapped inside a house. The Germans came and, and set it fire, and the fire was just burning them and they were trying to dig out from under there. You could see them digging out and then they shot them. That was awful. That was awful to see. One thing, however, many soldiers never saw was the persecution and genocide of the Jews through concentration camps, something Tab didn't fully grasp until after the war was over. We just didn't realize all that was going on until we saw the films of it. It was just heartbreaking to see what all uh, Hitler has done to the countries, just beyond any man's thinking. Then in 1945, the relief that the world had been waiting for. The news came that uh, the war is over. We, we're just shouting and glad it was, you know. Those moments of joy coupled with work still to be done. Tab's unit charged with guarding German prisoners of war. People, it turned out, they had a lot in common with. Hitler had drafted those guys just like we got drafted. And, and those prisoners was just as kind and nice as they could be. They wanted out of there. They wanted to go to their homes if they had one. Even all these years later, Tab remembers those little moments of humanity found in the face of the so-called enemy. And one of them said, you need to shave, I'll shave you. And I said, well, sure. He started shaving and shaving down on my throat, you know, with that straight razor. I thought, oh, Lord, my time's here. <laughs> but he would make it home to Piney Flats. Cape Atterbury, Indiana. That's where we got our discharge. And they gave us $50. Each, each one got $50. <laughs> And we we're on our way home. For Tab and so many others, after the war, life simply went on. Wonderful, beyond words, to know the war is over. Now, Tab says he's extremely proud to have served his country in World War II. And when he got home from the war, well, his family celebrated with another big meal. Casey, we'll send things back to you.